Hello, champions, and happy Monday. For your intervention lesson today, you're going to be multiplying decimals by whole numbers. I know you're going to do a great job, and so does Mr. Smiles. Let's dive right into our video. Remember that decimal multiplication is exactly like whole number multiplication. We just have to look and see the correct place value for each one of our digits. To start, let's multiply 34 times 3. What's 34 times 3? Well, 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 3 is 9, plus one more is 10. 34 times 3 is 102. Now let's multiply 3 and 4 tenths times 3. This means 34 tenths times 3. The first thing I'm going to do when I multiply by a decimal is count how many digits are behind the decimal. Here there's one digit behind the decimal. 34 times 3 is still 102. Where would I place the decimal in my answer? I would place it between the 0 and the 2. I need to place one number behind the decimal so that my answer ends in the tenths place. Now let's do another example. 34 hundredths times 3. How many numbers would be behind the decimal in my product this time? There would be 1 two numbers behind the decimal. 34 times 3 is still 102. Where would I place my decimal to answer this problem correctly? I would place it behind the 1 so that two numbers are behind the decimal. 34 hundredths times 3 is 1 and 2 hundredths. Now let's do another example. What's 175 times 6? Well, 6 times 5 is 30, 6 times 7 is 42, plus 3 more is 45, 6 times 1 is 6, plus 4 more is 10. So 175 times 6 is 1050. Now, let's multiply 17 and 5 tenths times 6. How many numbers are going to be behind the decimal in my product? one number will be behind the decimal in my product. I know that 175 times 6 is 1050. Where should I place the decimal to make that answer correct? It should go between the 5 and the second zero so that one number is behind the decimal. My answer ends in the tenths place. Now let's do 1 in 75 hundredths times 6. How many numbers will be behind the decimal in my answer? There will be one, two numbers behind the decimal. I know that 175 times 6 is 1050. Where should I place the decimal to correctly answer this multiplication problem? I should place it between the first zero and the five, 10 and 50 hundredths. Two numbers go behind the decimal and my answer ends in the hundredths place. Now let's try some problems without using our pattern. How many numbers will be behind the decimal in this question? Well, one, two will be behind the decimal. Now I can multiply like normal. What's 374 times eight? Eight times four is 32. Eight times seven is 56 plus 3 more is 59. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 5 is 29. 374 times 8 is 2,992. Where should I place the decimal to correctly write my product? It should go between the two nines. There's one, two numbers behind the decimal. So the answer is 29 and 92 hundredths. Now you try a problem on your own. How many numbers should be behind the decimal in this problem? One, two. Go ahead and write the quotient of 12 and 97 hundredths times four. Make sure that you correctly place your decimal. Let's see how you did. Four times seven is 28. Four times nine is 36, plus two is 38. Four times two is eight, plus three is 11. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 more is 5. 
there are one, two numbers behind the decimal. So the answer is 51 and 88 hundredths. Now let's do another one. How many numbers will be behind the decimal in this product? One number will be behind the decimal. Go ahead and multiply this problem now and write your product. Make sure to correctly place the decimal. Let's see how you did. 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 2 is 14. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 1 is 19. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 1 more is 7. I need to place one number behind the decimal. So my answer is 794 and 4 tenths. Now you try one completely on your own. What's 9 and 76 hundredths times 7? Let's see how you did. 7 times 6 is 42. 7 times 7 is 49. Plus 4 more is 53. 7 times 9 is 63. Plus 5 is 68. 1, 2 numbers go behind the decimal. So the answer is 68 and 32 hundredths. You've done a great job with this video. Now it's time to move to IXL practice in 6th grade H.2. Multiply decimal numbers. I know you're going to do a great job.